Welcome on back to East Texas Live on KDK. Joining us now is Gail Held of Pets for People. Good morning, Gail. Hi, Sarah, how are you? I'm doing so well, and you brought with you a special friend. What's her name? Idea. This is Abby. Hello. And Abby, Abby is about two and a half months old, oh, and she's a one of three in a litter that we have there at the shelter. And we think because we, the people who brought her in said that one of the parents was a basset, so she's going to be a little low rider. Okay. Short, stocky legs <laughs> and a long little buddy, but um, just a sweet, kind of a shy little girl right now. Of the three that we have, she is the shyest of all three, so she may need a little extra TLC when Some she tears. goes home. But you know, I think once she gets in a family environment, with children, I think she's going to just blossom and just be the hit of the party. So that's a good point that you just made. Children, what's the best kind of family for a little girl here? Well, we feel like that children under about four sometimes don't know how to handle the small puppies mm -hmm. and kittens. So we would prefer that it be like maybe five and older. Um, but I just see her as part of a family, you know, whether you like to go to the lake or you go camping or just play in the backyard. That's what she needs to complete her life. Yeah. And Gail, for all of those people that are on the fence who are thinking about adopting a dog but aren't sure, tell us the perks of doing something like this. Well, to me, and I think research has proven that these dogs are so therapeutic, whether it's yeah. a dog or a cat. And so what we're trying to do is to match the right people mm -hmm. with the right pets. And I think people need to also look at their environment before they adopt to make sure that their household is set up for it, that their schedules will allow them to take care of a dog properly or a cat. So there's a lot of considerations when you're wanting to adopt, and it's a 15-year commitment. Mm -hmm. um, but we really encourage people to come out, maybe if it's even two or three times, to visit with a pet before you finally find the one that you really bond with. And we've talked about this a lot recently. It's getting hot here in Texas, and we need to be extra careful with our pets. What should people keep in mind? Well, the main thing is don't take your pet with you when you go to make some to run some errands yeah. leave them at home I mean it gets deadly in the car very quick they need fresh cool water that's going to be in the shade so it's not going to be drinking hot water they just need some protection from the Sun they need to worry about fleas and ticks and also spay and neuter your pets mm -hmm. so we can stop this overpopulation of puppies and kittens and real quick before we go there's the adopt there's the option to adopt and there's the option to breed Tell us why it's a good choice to go the adoption route. Well, and usually these little mixed breeds, they are so much healthier mm -hmm. and so more, um, I think, even keeled. Um, but for us, go to a shelter. There's millions of them available for adoption, and they really need a home. Definitely. Well, thank you so much, thank Gail, you, for visiting us and for bringing beautiful little Abby. She is so gorgeous. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you.